sure you'll agree, traditional markets always make our struggling high streets feel that little bit more vibrant. So when the market closed in Darleston, the black country, four years ago following the downturn, shoppers felt their town had lost part of its character. There was good news today, though. The historic market reopened, and it's hoped its return will help boost the town's flagging fortunes. Bob Hockenhull reports. 28 stalls that could be the key to bringing back more shoppers to the black country town of Darleston. The 40-year-old market returned today, four years after the recession caused it to close. I'm hoping this will relight Darleston people and the town and more people will come and bring life into Darleston once again. Well, I think Darleston needed it because otherwise you've only got the Asda and nothing else in here. Darleston has a proud, once thriving shopping history. It was once home to 13 butchers' shops. Today there's only one. It just seems to have lost some of its heart and some of its character and the reasons to be here. I mean, we've stood our stall every week since then, but, you know, it, it's nice to give people a purpose in life to come out to the markets and get different produce. The market will open three days a week, but next door to a massive supermarket. Can it really compete? Well, the supermarket itself says it wants the traditional market to prosper. We welcome it, because whatever is good for Darleston is good for us. So at the end of the day, it's the people of Darleston that's going to benefit. The important thing is people using it. Um, and if people, if, if residents of Darleston um, want the market and the traders, then people have got to come support the market. Between 2004 and 2009, the number of traditional market traders in the UK declined by 14%. It's hoped by bringing markets back to places like Darleston, that trend will be reversed. Bob Hockenall, BBC Midlands Today, Darleston. Almost 40